Hi, Noah. Hello, Taylor. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing fantastic. So excited to be here with you. By the way, I've been a longtime fan of Dude Dad, so it's uh, really great to connect with you on the show. Hey, thanks, Noah. I appreciate that. Come on, kids. Get dressed for church. I don't want to be late again. Sounds good, Dad. Daddy, I'm going to wear this, okay? That's fine, Juno. Just get dressed. <laughs> kids, are you ready? Heidi, are you ready? Now, Taylor, your videos are so hilarious, they will make anyone's day, but you've ranked over a million fans across social media platforms, and you've made your way to television. Good for you. But from all the short videos to more lengthier videos that you do on your YouTube channel, how long does it actually take to film content for your channel, and how do you come up with some of the funny topics that you create and share with your audience? Yeah, I mean, every video is different in terms of how long it takes to produce. All the ideas are just inspired from real life. So like we have a, a series of uh, couples fights um, mm -hmm. that me and my wife have done. And like every single one of those fights are actual fights that we've had together. So it's really like kind of fun. It's almost like a therapeutic session for us to like, you know, cause when you write it out, like I have to have the yin and the yang of each fight, like her right. stance and my stance and make them each valid in the video. And doing that sort of forces us to understand each other's perspectives. So even though there's no conclusion on any of those fights, we at least understand where the other person's coming from. Hey, what do you want to do for date night? Excuse me, can you give me a minute? Why? Babe, I'm, I'm pooping. So? Babe, I don't want to poop in front of you. Can we just talk when I'm done? Oh, that'll be like 30 minutes. You always take forever. I don't take that long. Yes, you do. Either way, this is my private time. <laughs> You've watched me give birth three times. You are no longer entitled to private time. Well, I don't want to talk to you while I poop. Now, Taylor, I would just like to know, what is it like when Dude Dad is off camera? Are you still this funny, comical guy that we see on our computer screens on a daily basis? Because I feel like you are probably just the life of the party from all the high energy that you bring to your videos. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, you'd have to ask the people around me. I uh, think so, but it kind of depends. Um, yeah, it kind of depends day to day, but uh, I'd say for the most part, what you see is what you get. And without any hesitation, she looked at me and she said, you're not quitting Dude Dad. You have to keep going. Which was crazy because at the time, we had like almost no following and it brought in absolutely no money and it took up a ton of my time. You were all struggling to make ends meet, but your wife told you to not stop creating content for Dude Dad, your YouTube channel that has grown and become so popular. Talk with us about that and how others should not give up on what they're wanting to do in the space of online video. Yeah, I mean, we were in a really tough time. Uh, we, I kind of lost my job as department manager because the new company, um, you know, was the, my, the, the owner that I worked for sold the building and the new company came in. Is this whole thing where like all of a sudden I had to start working a new job and there was just everything was piling on. We had a one year old. We just found out we were pregnant. We had to move and it was just way too much. And my wife kind of just, uh, like I eventually broke down, I was like, I have to quit doing something, I can't handle it all. And without any hesitation, she looked at me and she said, you can't quit dude dad. Mm. And which was crazy, because at the time we didn't make any money off of it. And it was just like this hobby that I love to do. And yeah. without any hesitation, she said, you have to keep doing it. Um, which was really awesome because, you know, at the time, I felt like that was the thing I needed to stop because it wasn't bringing our family anything and it needed to provide. But she knew that there was more to it and she believed in me even when I didn't. So for, I think the big lesson that I keep sharing with everybody is like, you know, look at the people who around you are creative and like, you know, that you believe in and make sure you tell them that you believe in them because, you know, if you don't, they might not know it and they might be moments away from quitting. So...